Bonjour, konnichiwa, kia ora, and welcome again to another week of Cooking with Cax. Alongside me, Claire, how was your week at school this week? It was pretty good, a bit busy, but it was great. Looking forward to today, though. Alright, we're all looking forward to today. Today is the goal kick guacamole. Now, just like a goal kick is the icing on the cake for a try, guacamole goes great on snacks, chips, and whatever else. So, Claire? What do we need? Right, so we need a lemon, some sweet chilli sauce, avocado, chopped tomatoes, crushed garlic and some parsley. Alright Claire, let's get moving. I feel like some chips. Okay, so we'll um, put in some crushed garlic. I'll scrape this lemon off you, I think. Uh-huh. How much of this am I putting in there? Um, about a tablespoon. And just remember when you squeeze your lemon not to drop your pips in your guacamole, because that's an amateur move. Right, so do you want to do the avocado after that? Alright. I will get into this tomato. Actually, a bit of history about the avocado. It originated in Mexico um, over 500 years ago. And it's actually a very, very healthy vegetable, so it's great to eat. I think you might find that it's actually a fruit. It's related to the pear. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> I'm sure you did. It doesn't matter anyway. Do you want to put it in there? Yeah, right. Sweet. I like this one. <laughs> I'm just using the half, just chucking one in there. It's important to make sure your avocado is right before you cut into it, so check the skin of the avocado. If it's too soft, then it's probably overripe, but if it's not soft enough, then it won't be right. So it needs to be just in the middle. Alright, do you want to do the parsley? And then what I want to show everybody at home is this fantastic pair of scissors. Now, there's three blades on it. Imagine how quickly you could get your hair cut with one of these. <laughs> Should we uh, start with Claire? No, we shan't. Uh, okay, righto. A dollop of this, it's about a tablespoon. Look at that. That's real power. Okay, that, that, that will probably do. Alright, and now we just need to mix it together. Usually you can just use a fork. Seems to be alright. I think it's about time to get the muscles in here. Hand it over, Claire. Don't worry about making a bit of a mess, it's not a big deal. Mum and Dad will clean up afterwards. Just don't get it on your clothes, Mum might be happy. Alright, that looks good to go. We should put in a dish and serve it up. Alright, perfect. That looks ready for me. You grab the corn chips and we'll go out and eat. Oh, but we've got to wait for Rugger. He said he's coming around for a DVD. Mm, Alright, I suppose we can wait for him. <laughs> hey guys, I don't know if you know, but I'm a qualified builder, which means one thing. I know my way around tools. Today guys, we're going to have a closer look at the lemon squeezer. This is perfect if you want fresh juice, but be careful, it's very acidic and if you've got cuts or you get in your eyes, it's going to sting. The key to this here is to push down, nice and firm but not too hard, you don't want to break the peel, and twist. Safe and easy. There you go guys, get stuck into it. Oh sweet, looks great, and you can just about have it with anything. Holy Apex! Now I've seen it all. We'll see you next week on Cooking with Cakes. <laughs>